Hi, everybody. Time for some coffee and comedy. It's, I've already had, I've had some coffee. Have you had your coffee yet this morning? I'm starting a little bit later. I, I did some different stuff and I'm, I'm trying some stuff out today. You know, do you know what I'm saying? Do you know what I'm saying? Hold on, I'm gonna turn off. I feel like this, that's glaring. That's glaring like its name was Karen. And we can just, we can just go dark today. You know, we can just go dark. Boom, doom, ba -doom, ba -doom. How are you doing? Whenever somebody says, how are you doing? Do you hear joy from friends in your head? Because I do. Every time, no matter what. Somebody says, how are you doing? I'm like, how are you doing? And that's kind of weird. And like, just like a, a register person, like e e male, female, doesn't matter who they are. I'm always like, how are you doing? Oh, Joey from friends at all times. What's up? Thanks for joining the live. We appreciate y'all sticking around. Don't go nowhere. The funny is coming. The funny is coming. So how are you doing today? How, did you answer me? How are you doing? How are you doing? You doing good? I'm doing terrible. That's my go-to dad joke for everything. My daughter, my daughter, like every time, every time we go in someplace, like, how are you doing today, sir? And not only do I hear how you doing, Joey from Friends, I say terrible. Terrible. Let's talk about it. God, God, Dad, do you have to do that every time? My name is Keenan, like Keenan and Kel, Keenan Ivory Waynes. I'm the only white man you'll meet named Keenan. If you know another one, let me know, because there can only be one. There can't be more than one of us. Like, I don't want, I don't want you to, all fat white dudes look alike anyways. All fat white dudes with a beard look alike. Like, right now you're probably thinking like, do I know this guy? Where do I know you from? Have we met before? No, we've never met before. Just all fat old dudes with a beard white dudes look alike and i look like oh what frank oh my god i, I, I talk we'll talk about that later because I, I literally asked her all right so my name keenan says invite me to the barbecue but my face says insurrectionist it also says i did it all for the nookie like this is what happens it was a warning i didn't know that like fred durst didn't let us know like it's a warning don't do it all for the nookie it it could kill you it, it will break you. It will break you. Break your fucking face tonight. Give me something to break. Give me something to break. I really... You notice everybody's showing off their dad bods now. Um, It's fine. Um, Show off your dad bods. It's good. But I've been working on this dad bod since I was like 10. So the fact that everybody's like, Going to the lake with a beer and belly heat. Bitch, like, you adopted this life because you got old and fat. I was born into this, bro. Like, try being 13, looking like, minus the beard, I've looked like this forever. If I shaved my beard off right now, you'd be like, oh, crap. That's a child. I have a baby face. You know what I'm saying. That's what, that's what, that's what sucks the people in. That's what, that's what comes and down. Hey, how's it going? This is a shout out to, uh, Vector. Two, six, three, four. I'm getting a magnifying glass, so it'll be easier for me to see. I took y'all's advice. I ordered, I, I ordered a magnifying glass because I'm blind as a bat. I'm not blind. I mean, I can see. That's the worst part. Like tell them, like, um, I, I, I just can't see that well. That's the worst part. Um, I have one black friend. I don't know about you. I, I have one black friend. This one black friend of mine. Give me one second. Let me tell this joke. This one black friend of mine decided that he was going to dip his toes into the pimp game. And not like putting girls on the corner selling sex. Like, sponsor a girl going to the club. Help her get in, like, get a room, get, get clothes, get all cleaned up, hair done, nails done, go start dancing. But she's working there like a week. He's like, she hasn't broke any bread with me yet, though, dude. Look, man, I don't know a whole lot about the pimp game, but... It might be time to smack a hoe. Like I don't, I don't do that. That's not what I'm about, bro. But from what I've heard, from from the documentaries I've watched, she she's playing you for your weakness, dog. All right, let's see, let's see what he wrote. Uh, you look like a homosexual Fred Durst. I'm okay with that, so I look like a Fred Durst that has it together because homosexuals have good, like, like they they have it together. Like, I, I don't mind that comment too much. I was just called a, a homosexual Fred Durst. Do I? Like, I'm like a bear, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, 
homosexual dudes love me. Like if, if my if my stuff was homosexual men and uh, I, the other one's just gonna get me in trouble. This is gonna get me in trouble. The homosexual men part isn't gonna get me in trouble. The next part will get me in trouble. So we're gonna we're gonna back off from that joke. Uh, you look like a homosexual, Fred. I love that comment so much. I wanna. Can we? I'm gonna take a, a pic of it. I need a screenshot. Cause I love that comment. I'm sorry. Who, who said that comment? Hold on one second. Who said that comment? Not talking. Tyrone Jones, you better call on Tyrone. You better call on Tyrone. I am. I'm. I, I'd be. I'm. I'd be pretty popular if I was a homosexual. Like I. It, my problem is, is that I was raised by an emotional white woman, single emotional white woman. So not only can I go Karen real fast, real fucking fast, I know that men ain't shit. I went to a lot of happy hours as a kid. My chilies, my mama's hanging out with her work friends. I'm on the side of the table eating my cheese sticks. Just listening to them complain about how terrible we are. We don't do the dishes. We don't do laundry. We don't take care of the kids. We don't bring in enough money. I'm like, why the hell are we with men, guys? Like, there's like six of us here. Why don't y'all like pair off and like, let, let me be a happy boy? Like, why? Fuck. Fuck these dudes. Like, what are you doing? Uh, we got some more. Uh, look, this in unemployed. Uh, oh, dude, I, I need, dude, when this thing, when this, when this magnifying glass comes, y'all are all in big, big trouble. I'm going to be able to see with a quickness and you won't be able to play with it. Look like an unemployed Santa Claus comment gamer mall Santa oil up I'm coming <laughs> y'all are hilarious dude if I was a, like number one it's April right like I Easter just passed so of course I'd be unemployed like and I'm, what, what do y'all think about like you know like the dirty grandpa what if there's like a dirty Santa Claus like an adult Santa Claus for Christmas. Like, what if I do adult Santa on TikTok or some shit like that on YouTube? Hey, guys. Welcome. I'm the adult. <sighs> Smoking like a cigarette or something. <laughs> hey, guys. Christmas is coming. You better beware. I'm watching you. I know when you're naughty or when you're nice. Look me in my eyes. I know when you're naughty. Are you being naughty? That's weird, right? That'd be, that'd be weird. All right. Uh... Silly Bob. Billy Bob Thornton did that. I'm, I'm Billy. I'm better than Billy. Yeah, okay, but that's what I'm saying. Like, Bill, okay, can I not, can I not be a bad Santa every year? Is there not a spot for a bad Santa? And Billy Bob Thornton wasn't fat, number one. I am legit fat with a legit real beard. I could let the horseshoe grow out. I could do the horseshoe haircut Give me the, like, you want to play, dude? You want to play with me? I could be Santa. Like, Billy Bob Thornton was already a bad, I know Billy Bob Thornton was a bad Santa. Funniest thing ever, we got, when my daughter was young, like, when that movie first came out, we got free tickets. We got free tickets to uh, Bad Santa. So, my wife at the time, my daughter, we all go to see Bad Santa. Not the movie for a child to go, and even, even like, we were like you sure you want to take your kid in here? I'm like, yeah, what's the problem? Like, it's rated R. I'm like, it's rated R. Like, it was not good Santa movie to take a child to. But we were already in it. We had free tickets, and she was, she was a she was a child. She didn't know what was going on. Uh, so yeah, I was raised by an emotional white woman. Like I said, and a general apology to all women because we ain't shit. And I say sorry to women a lot. Like more, like I've even had women's like. Quit saying sorry to me. You say sorry too much. I'm like, well, I I can't quit. Like, tell me to qu quit doing shit wrong. Like, help me not not to piss you off, and I'll quit saying sorry. But I'm <clears throat> serious. Seriously. Um. Doom, beam, 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 beam. Uh, these are more. 
These are more things. And I'm about to use this joke, but it's coming up. I get recognized an awful lot. Not because I'm famous. Not because like, ooh, I watch your YouTube all the time. You're, you're like YouTube famous. No, 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 not because of that. Because we all look alike. I look like six people you know right now. Right now, you're like, I know this guy somehow. Where do I know him from? You know me from your dreams. Dream. Um, yeah. All fat white dudes with a beard look alike. It just happens. Just happens. Like what like what do they say, uh what's that guy and Chris Farley? What's that what the the homosexual dude? Which does it doesn't matter that he's, but I'm saying like he looks nothing like Chris Farley. He has none of his stuff is really like Chris Farley. He's more of a comic comic. But everybody compares him to Chris Farley. Why? Because he's fat. That's the only thing they have in common is being fat. That's jacked up, bro. Um. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god, what? What's oh my god about? What are we oh my godding? What's happening here? What's a happening now? Uh, how old do you think I am? How, how old? Like, so we, we, we talk some shit. Old Santa. Looks like an unemployed mall clock, cop. Blah, blah, blah. Shh, don't tell anybody. I'm 65. I look good for 65, don't I? But I'm actually 41, so that's kind of scary, right? Don't, doesn't, doesn't make it like, hey, you need to call 911. Like, something's going to happen to you. Like, you're only 41, bro. You look, you look, you look old. A couple of times in my life when I felt very old, uh, I was at Taco Bell place to order. The girl asked for my name. And my thing to go was like, Keenan, like Keenan and Kel. I don't care. You spell it. Just give me my food. I'm not that old. I don't know who Keenan and Kel is. Wait, 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 wait. This is like the 2000s. How do you not know who Keenan and Kel is? Who the hell were your parents? Nobody trained you properly? Nobody, nobody told you what to do? Like, I, I don't understand this. So that is one of the times. And then, and not and then, but I was walking across the street with a boss at one time. Canaan? And that's how you say Keenan if you're a country ass dude. Canaan? How old are you, Canaan? I'm 21, sir. Damn, Canaan, hard living, huh? Yeah, man. Thanks for bringing up my my shitty existence, sir. I appreciate that. You're also you're also my boss, and you you pay me a minimum wage, so you know, it's it's not great. Uh, boom, 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 boom. And we all know the saying, "Black does not crack." Nobody told me that. Caucasian just crumbles away. It's like I'm being fucking Thanos. He's like the snap is happening like as we speak. Shh. Isn't that scary? Doesn't that, doesn't, that, doesn't that scare you? It scares me. Like it feels like I'm getting, just becoming dust in the wind. I kind of look like the Crypt Keeper if he was a little thick. If the Crypt Keeper had a little meat on his bones... And be like, you know, for a dead guy, that crib keeper looks pretty healthy. He's he's been it's like when you see when you like you know that that guy's kind of healthy for being the crib keeper. I I keep I maintain my body weight. Uh, I am a social media creator. Those words like nothing has ever sounded more lame coming out of an adult men's mouth. I'm a what do you do for a living? I'm a social media creator. I, I dabble in stand-up, but my job title is social media creator. You're never getting laid, bro. You're never... Maybe if you're a young dude, like, yeah, I'm a gamer. I, I, do, I do stuff social. But like this face, I'm a social media creator. You can find me on my TikTok, on my YouTube. Check, be my friend on Twitter or Facebook so we can interact more. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Yeah, um, okay. Alright, my ex my ex wife like uh, my ex-wife was racist and I did not know this. Like they don't, the racist people don't usually like a lot a lot of a lot of people just don't let you know up front, like, hey I'm a racist. Blah, racist. I don't like other people. So when my ex wife would introduce me, she would tell people like, Yeah, I married I married I married got married to this guy named Keenan. Is he black? No, but we know you're racist now. No, they weren't racist. She was racist. I just can't connect the fucking dots. My mind doesn't work that great with that. So, so, 
Then, like, you know, I'm I, I'm a terrible husband. I'm a cheating husband. And I, I, I like me some black women. I like black women. But black women don't really like to kiss. And so my my first question to my homegirl was, can you, like, smell the racism coming off me? Do I have, like, systemic racism, like, coming off my breath because I was married to this racist witch? And she said, no, 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 I just don't know where your mouth has been. Wait, what? We're literally about to make love, and you're worried about where this mouth has been. We're past that point. And it's like, it, it's just very mechanical. Very mechanical. Um, yeah, okay, so yeah, systemic racism because my ex-wife was racist. You can taste the systemic racism on my bed. Like I said, I was a cheater. She caught me a bunch of times cheating. Like, it was the, the worst. I used to have to sleep with, like, my phone or anything. I'd wake up to her, check on my phone, and she'd be like, who's this baby? I mean, I, I didn't hide it at all. I could not care at all. I was I was a terrible husband. She caught me one time sending uh, pictures of my peni out. In my defense and to her credit, they were awesome pictures that she took. She took these pictures, and... I told her, I was like, what do you want me, do you want me hide that? Like, look at that thing. It looked beautiful. You do, the lighting was proper, the shading, that you put something in front of it to make it like, which never looks sharp. If I could post that picture on Facebook and give me a memory every year, boom. Look, one year you were strong. But uh, yeah, Facebook doesn't allow that to happen. So I just, I just have to do it on my own. Oh, we got some, we got some, uh. Oh, oh my God, dude. Oh my God, dude. What are you doing, dude? All right, the first time I went to jail, y'all like this since y'all are talking crap about me looking like, looking like uh, a homosexual Fred Durst and uh, a mall Santa. But okay, the first time I ever went to jail, I'm, I'm, nine, I'm 18 years old. I get picked up for some warrants. I go to like this podunk little country jail, like nothing jail. They take me in, you go through the whole rigmarole. You, if you've been to jail, you know. And they take me back to that room so they can check you, make sure you're not sneaking nothing in. And so they can put you in that orange jumpsuit and give you your number. So I go into the room and at this time, I, I'm at at least a double XL. I'm 300 pounds, maybe, probably plus at the time. They give me an XL jumpsuit. I swear to God, it was less embarrassing for that dude to be checking in into my butt than me to put on this very tiny. I mean, we're talking, we're talking skin tight. We're talking skin tight jumpsuit. Sorry, I jacked everything up for a second. When you got two things going, uh, YouTube, you should really get a green screen going. But I'm skin tight jumpsuit, like just so, so bad. And so I walk out there, I sit on the bench and I'm feeling so insecure. Like, as if, you know, if you're, if you're fat, you, don't put me in tight clothes. Don't make me, oh, I'm insecure. I mean, seriously. Then all of a sudden, over the intercom you hear, that boy look like a stuffed sausage. Really, dude? Like, and his voice, you can kind of tell by a person's voice, he did not sound like a skinny dude. Hey, like this dude that was talking shit to me did not sound like a skinny dude. So I, I don't I don't appreciate that, bro. I don't appreciate that. And now to my tattoos. I got I got some tattoos on my body. I got Thundercats, I got Kiki, I got Batman tattooed on my chest, I got a Loch Ness Monster tramp stamp. But my favorite tattoo is the chef from South Park tattooed on the back of my leg. I got it because I was a chef. I'm a retired chef. And I wanted to get something that represented a chef. I didn't want to get like bacon and eggs or a vegetable and shit. Like, and the chef from South Park, I'm like, I want to get him. And I was thinking full color. I'm talking full color on the, the clothes, the everything. And I, I was thinking, let's color them in black. That was my thought. So the, the artist gets done and she's a, a black female. And literally she gets all done and it looks great. It looks just like how it's supposed to, but she hasn't filled it in yet. She's like, are you sure you want me to fill this in? I'm like, yeah, I think so. I guess, let me let me see it. She lets me see it and I look, I'm like, we really look a whole lot alike if you don't color them in. Chef from South Park, pale with a beard and a hat. That's me, bro, that's me, it looks great. But then as I'm telling this joke, like I'm, I've been telling this joke and then I had the thought like, 
Did she save me from putting blackface on my body for the rest of my life? And I literally, she, we're still friends on Facebook, and I asked her the question the other day. I was like, hey, did you did you have that thought? And she's like, I, I do so many tattoos. I remember doing your chef tattoo, but I don't remember if I had the black face thought. or the. I was like, well, I want to thank you because I thought the story was I didn't color them in because we kind of look alike. But the story is I didn't color them in because we look alike, and who wants to wear a black face on their calf for the rest of their life? It could have been me. Like, I couldn't wear my shorts because people like, yo, dude, what is that? Like, I wonder if she had the thought, like, what color am I going to use to color this dude in? Do I, like, what, what, like, uh, just, just a bad, bad thing. All right, we're almost done. Let's talk about my terrible memory of my father. All right. Now, a lot of people, like, I have a bad relationship. Well, my, my father's passed away now, but I, I, I've never had a good relationship with him. He was a crappy, he was a crappy dad, like. One of my, one of my, uh, my sous chefs asked me, he's like, you sure you're not black? Like, uh, I was raised by a single woman. I have a shitty dad. Does that help me at all? Does that, does that, does that help it at all? So one of the few times that I went over to this man's house and it was usually when he got a new girlfriend to show off, Hey, I, I've got a kid that I talk to, even though he has like four others that he doesn't talk to, but whatever, who cares? You loser. Yeah. I am, I'm not emotionally scarred by this shit at all. I don't have daddy issues. Not a problem. But anyways, so I go into my father's room. I'm, I got diarrhea. I, need, I can't find the Pepto-Bismol. I'm not feeling well. I, I need a grown-up. I'm like I'm like 10 or 12. I don't know. I think I'm, maybe I'm in the fifth grade. I don't know. I know this is one of the last times I went to this dude's house because I was over it after this. So I go into his room. I'm like, Daddy, I got a tummy ache. Can you... Can you come and help me? I don't know exactly what he said, but I know he did not sound happy to get the fuck up and come and help his son. I'm sorry to bother you once in your life to come and help me when I'm sick in the middle. Of God forbid. God forbid you be a dad, you bitch. Sorry. Again, I don't have daddy issues. I promise you. I don't have daddy issues. So he says he's going to get up. I go back to the bathroom because I'm going right back to pooping. There's diarrhea. There's, I got a rumbly in the tumbly bad. It's a terrible night. But... I didn't, I didn't tell him like, oh my God, dad, it's emergency 911. I'm pooping out my insides. I, I need your help so bad. Why couldn't this guy pull up his damn boxers? This is what I got. I got face to penis with my dad. Like he's standing up. I'm sitting on the toilet. Like, why are you doing this, dude? Like, oh, what can I get you? I'm like, I'm, I'm good. I'll figure it out. I'll, I'll call my mom. My, my mom will answer the phone. I can always, I can count on my mom. You freaking douche. So yeah, that's uh, a lot of a lot of a lot of like uh, a lot of kid the bad dads and they go, oh, I was waiting, dad didn't dad didn't throw the ball, daddy didn't pick me up. Blah, blah. No, I remember this dude being naked. Why would you do that, bro? And not only that, like his girlfriend was sixty five years old, so he was naked in the bed with this grandma. I don't. Oh, I not only have to think about this dude being naked, I have to think about this old lady being naked next to him. It was a very very, I'm still to this day, I'm not good with, with nudity. I don't like being like, I don't like being nude. I don't like, partner, lover, that's different. But, new, no, my son's be walking around with a shirt. I'm like, put on your damn shirt, bro. Nobody needs to see that skinny ass. Like, I know you're skinny and you're showing off, blah, blah, blah. We're, we're at the house, dog. Put a shirt on. Like, put a shirt on. Like, what, what are you, what are you doing? And like, they're all covered up or walking around with a blanket with no shirt. Maybe if you put a shirt and jacket on, cover that body up, dude. Maybe if you covered up your body, maybe you wouldn't have this. All right. In the spirit of emergencies, when you call the doctor, or you call, you know, even a Walgreens and you're listening to the stupid message, they say to you, if this is a real emergency, dial 911. So my first thought is, I'd love to see the person's face is like, oh crap, this is a real emergency. I do need to dial 911. Beep, 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 beep. Excuse me, my arm is severed off. That was my first thought. But then my next thought was, somebody actually called them with some serious shit. This was an actual thing that happened. That kind of boggles the mind. That kind of, like, we, we've been that, that dumb. Somebody has been... Oh, I cut my finger off and I'm bleeding. Can you help me? Oh, and I even got a toothpick out. I didn't pop it in my mouth to chill out on the, on the cravings. Cause I'm, I'm, the, and that that's the worst. Like you want to know the worst part? The worst part 
I'm not, 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 I didn't even get started. All right, so I was a smoker from like 12 to 30. Then I went to the vaporizer, the the the, the vapor, you know, the oil and stuff. And I'm, I'm at zero nicotine. I still do that. So it's an oral fixation. That's the problem. And you know what it's like to be a heterosexual male and and maybe he's right. Maybe I am a homosexual Fred Durst because I got this oral fixation where something, like I like something like to play with in the mouth or I like, uh, I, it, what are you gonna do, you know? Well, this was comedy in the morning. I had coffee before y'all. Oh, I have a little, I have a little slurp of coffee left. Mmm. Ice coffee, yum. Thanks for joining me. I appreciate you all. I've been called uh, some names this morning. I enjoy the names. Uh, let's 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 go back through it. Uh, homosexual Fred Durst, uh, Mall Santa, unemployed Mall Santa. These are all true. These are all true. Uh, I can't do. I had the thought like maybe I could be a bad Santa. Maybe I should be a bad Santa, like not for Christmas. I don't know. Like, why can't why can't I do that? Like, I understand Billy Bob Thornton did it first, but everybody did everything first. Like, I'm not doing anything. You know, people have been doing stand up comedy better than me for years, like for year forever, forever. So, what you gonna do? What you gonna do when the pythons come down on you? You don't know. You don't know nada. All right, so again, I do appreciate y'all hanging out. Follow, subscribe, like. Blah, dee, dee, blah, dee, blah, dee, blah, 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 blah. I do appreciate everything that I, I appreciate you all. And I call you the master debaters because we debate and we master debate. You know, you know what I'm saying. You know. All right, so good night, y'all. Thanks for joining. Well, not good night. Good morning. Oh. Uh, good morning, good afternoon, and in case I don't see you, good night. Have a B-E-A-utiful day. I know you will. We all will. We'll have a beautiful day, won't we?